Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video on my top 10, actually I have 11 fragrances here but top 10 sounds better, top 10 tobacco fragrances. Now I don't usually do uh, videos like this where I'm kind of highlighting one specific note, so please guys let me know if, if you enjoyed this video at the end of it and if you want me to continue doing this, like top 10 rose fragrances, coconut fragrances, the list goes on and on. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite notes, tobacco. I am a huge fan of tobacco in fragrances. I know technically it is associated more so to masculine fragrances, but I am a woman who likes to wear masculine scents, feminine scents, unisex scents. I like to wear tobacco, to oud, to rose, to sandalwood. I like to wear everything. So for me, I am a big fan of the note of tobacco and I have some of my favorite fragrances right here. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start out with the cheapest fragrance in this video. It is Zara Rich Warm Addictive. A fantastic cheap fragrance from Zara that smells really, really good. Rich Warm Addictive. It is incredible, you guys. I have had this fragrance in my collection, not this specific bottle, but I've had Rich Warm Addictive for about four or five years, and it just does the trick every single time. Rich Warm Addictive is tobacco, honey, coconut. I love the coconut note in here because I feel like it brings this kind of rounded, smooth creaminess, and it just complements the tobacco and the honey. I just felt like I ate it. The coconut brings this more like rounded creamy facet which I just absolutely adore and it complements the honey and the tobacco so well and guys this is a no-brainer fragrance it's cheap and it smells incredible unfortunately the longevity projection is not really good on this scent but you can't really expect much from Zara fragrances in terms of performance so anyways the scent is what counts and it is amazing and I am going to tell you guys something this is just a little pro tip for, from me to you. Whether you're a girl or a guy watching this, you know, when it comes time to move into the bedroom, move into the next step, I really like to spray my sheets with this if I'm having like a little intimate moment. Um, spray your sheets. I'll just leave it like that. It works. So next up is Tobacola from Dior, the Dior private line. This fragrance is sweet. Oh my God, is it sweet. You have tobacco, you have plum, you have honey, you have peach, you have amber, you have a beautiful floral note in here as well. But honestly, guys, this fragrance is very, very, very sickly sweet. I do get a slight booziness from this scent and a nice woodiness overall. For me, the honey note is very prominent in here and I really feel like it's the forefront of the fragrance. Tobacco, honey, the peach, the plum, it's just a very sweet tobacco scent. So tobacco oil from Dior, very nice, very good projection and longevity. And if you were looking for a very sweet uh, tobacco fragrance, this is the one for you. Next up, we have Tobacco Vinny from Tom Ford. How can I make a tobacco video without including this one? It is just fantastic. Oh my God. For me, this fragrance brings back so many memories because I used to wear it quite a lot back in the day. I feel like I say back in the day, I'm 24 years old, so it's not really that far back. Smooth, creamy, rich, vanilla, tobacco, a bit spicy, very smooth and woody. And it is just amazing. It kind of reminds me of like a spiced, vanilla latte sort of vibe. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that's what I get from this fragrance. Actually, I remember uh, I was in New York with my mom when I was 16 years old and I went into like a Whole Foods or something like that. I know very typical, very basic, but I did and it was around the fall season. And when I walked in there, the way that Whole Foods smelled in the fall was the scent of tobacco vanille. It just smelled exactly like tobacco vanille. It is fantastic, you guys. You all know how it smells. Spiced, vanilla, tobacco, creamy, smooth. Wow, just an amazing fragrance. And the longevity and projection on this scent is really, really good. As you guys also know, it's 10 to 12 hours with huge projection. Amazing fragrance, amazing tobacco scent. It's going to be a staple in the fragrance industry for many years to come and for good reason. It is a fantastic scent. 
Next up, we have more of a subtle interpretation of tobacco. This is Volutes Eau de Parfum from Diptyque. Now, I say subtle, but I mean it in the best way possible. The way that this fragrance has been created is just beautiful. If you wanted more of a soft tobacco fragrance, something a little more wearable, I would recommend Volutes. What you're gonna get in this fragrance is a beautiful iris note. I would say the iris and the tobacco are equally as prominent in the scent. And then you have a nice sweetness from some honey and you have a little bit of a spiciness. But for me, I mostly get the iris note, the tobacco note, and an overall smooth sweetness. The honey is not as intense and as harsh as in Tobacola, for instance. It's more of a soft honey note. It's more rounded, it's more smooth, it's more gently sweet. So Volutes for me is a fantastic recommendation for any of you that wanted a more subtle tobacco fragrance. This is the one to go to. Very smooth, very comforting, and a really nice intimate scent. Volutes from Diptyque. So next up we have an iconic fragrance. It is Shogi from Serge Lutens. Now I absolutely love Shogi. I've had it in my collection since about four or five years now and it was one of my first niche fragrances actually and still when I smell it it just brings me right back to when I started really getting into collecting niche fragrances and I still absolutely adore this fragrance. Tobacco, honey, amber, hay. I think there is some incense in here as well. And it is just so good. There is a slight medicinal vibe to Shogi, but not in a disturbing way. Yeah, what you're gonna get is a sweet tobacco mixed with some honey. I do feel this kind of like fresh greenness from Shogi. I'm not sure if any of you guys picked that up as well, but I do feel like Shogi has a fresh aspect to it. There is something a little bit green inside. I think maybe it's coming from the hay, but I just love the way that this fragrance has been put together. And it's just a beautiful one. Really, really great longevity projection as well on this one. As you can imagine, fragrances with these more intense, <clears throat> excuse me, intense and oriental notes like tobacco, vanilla, amber, they usually last a lot longer on the skin. So most of these fragrances, if not all of them, last a long time. So I don't need to keep on saying that. Shogi from Sosutans, an amazing tobacco fragrance. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, so next up we have Naxos from Zerzhov. Beautiful fragrance. You guys know how much I love Zerjoff as a fragrance house and also how much I love Naxos. What I love about Naxos is the opening. You have this burst of lavender, which kind of deceives you into thinking that this is going to be an aromatic, fresh fragrance, but it's not at all. As soon as the lavender starts to kind of settle down, you feel the tobacco, you feel the honey, you feel a booziness, you feel the woodiness a smoothness, a creaminess. It is just, wow, a very luxurious smelling vanilla tobacco scent. If you wanted a more like classy, expensive smelling tobacco scent, go for Naxos. It's really an impressive fragrance. Longevity and projection is incredible on this one. It lasts 10 hours easy with amazing projection. So Naxos from Zerjoff, one of my favorite tobacco fragrances and I just absolutely love it, especially on my partner. I personally don't like to wear this one, but on my partner, wow, I love to smell it. Okay, next up is Jazz Club. You guys know how much I love Jazz Club. I don't need to go into it too much. Jazz Club is a boozy, smooth, creamy, woody, sweet fragrance that is just delectable and sexy and mysterious and I just love it so much. It really does smell like a jazz club in New York City and it's just incredible. Sweet, creamy, woody, boozy, tobacco. Wow, magnificent fragrance. On my skin, I get really good longevity projection from Jazz Club. Some people don't. Uh, some people get really poor longevity, so you're going to need to test it on your skin to see how it is. But in my experience, it lasts about eight hours with really good projection. So I love Jazz Club. I actually wear it a lot myself. My partner also wears it. And for me, it's one of the best uh, tobacco fragrances on the designer market. So definitely check this one out. Next up, one of my favorites in this list, if not it's in my top three in this list for sure. Vani Havan from Les Dimadab. Now, if you have not tried this fragrance, try it. Just trust me and try this scent because for me, 
this is easily the best vanilla tobacco combination that I have tried um, maybe ever. It is just mind-blowing. What you're gonna get from Vanille Havan, so what you're gonna get from Vanille Havan is an incredible vanilla tobacco combination, but with so much more going on. There is a dried fruity note in here, which really smells rich and dense and a little bit, I don't know, you know how dried fruits smell? They're like, there is a very distinct scent to them. You really feel it in the fragrance. There is a cacao note, which you also really feel in here. There is a rum note to bring a little bit of a booziness in here. You really feel each aspect of this fragrance. You feel the vanilla, you feel the tobacco, you feel the rum, you feel the dried fruits, and you feel the cacao. And overall, it's a delicious, sexy vanilla tobacco scent that all of you guys need to try. And I actually read something, I don't remember where, but somebody was like, this is what I wanted Tobacco Vanille to be. And as much as I love Tobacco Vanille for what it is, I agree that Vanille Havan is much better than Tobacco Vanille. So I don't know, take that with a grain of salt. I'm just telling you guys, you should try this scent because it's really, really impressive. Projection and longevity is incredible on Vanille Havan. It's a beast mode fragrance, so definitely check this one out. If you're in the market for a new vanilla tobacco for the fall and winter, check out Bani Havan. It's, you're not gonna regret it. Next up is Isara from Dusita. Now, I absolutely love this fragrance. Again, it's probably one of my favorites from the list. Obviously, you have the tobacco note in here. You have some coumarin, you have some vetiver. The base, you have some woodiness, some amber, some musk. And it is just amazing, a very smooth and well-blended tobacco fragrance. It's not very intense and in your face and very sweet. It's a very smooth and creamy and woody tobacco fragrance. Isara is another one that I feel like is a very luxurious and opulent smelling tobacco scent. Very royal, not too much, not too in your face. It's very smooth, very woody. A little bit sweet, but I mostly get this very woody, uh, smooth tobacco fragrance and it is just very sexy, very mysterious and very expensive smelling. So a fantastic tobacco fragrance from Dusita. Absolutely love this one and highly recommend it for men and women. Where would I be without this fragrance? I don't know. Herod from Puff on the Mali. You knew it was going to be here. You just knew it. And we don't need to go into this one very much because you already know. This one for me is an instant eye roll, like instantly. Vanilla and tobacco. And I get this sweet kind of cherry pipe tobacco feeling. Whenever I talk about Herod, I have to bring up the cherry note that I feel because I really feel this like cherry pipe tobacco scent in here and it just drives me crazy. I think there is some incense but I don't even care. Herod has a lot of vanilla. The tobacco note is more toned down and you mostly feel the vanilla actually. And the cherry, little like cherry essence in here, it is just incredible. So, so, so sexy, beautiful fragrance. I will never, never stop talking about how good Herod is because for me, it really is the one fragrance that I lose all control whenever I smell it and I just want to roll my eyes in the back of my head and stop filming my video. Herod from Puff and Mali, definitely one of the best vanilla tobacco fragrances on the market. Absolutely love it, 10 out of 10. Get it, buy it now, thank me later. I wear it, Pierre wears it, it's just the best fragrance ever. And finally, I have a newer fragrance to my collection and I wanted to put it in the list because just going off of my first impressions, this fragrance is amazing. I only got this fragrance recently, so I haven't had the chance to give it like a full testing, a full wearing, so keep that in mind. But it is Royal Tobacco from Amouage. This is so powerful, it's so intense, it's so unique. I have really never smelled anything like this. And in my head, I'm just thinking that Amouage has done it again because Amouage is really good at creating very unique and opulent fragrances and that's exactly what they did with this scent right here. I'm gonna go ahead and read a few of the notes because I was just looking, the note breakdown is crazy on this fragrance. Cardamom, olivenum, uh, elemi, anise, basil, bergamot, tobacco, licorice, fenugreek, orange blossom, rose, lavender, osmanthus, birch tar, olivenum, uh, vanilla, peru, balsam, benzoin, lanthanum, myrrh, oud, diacrid, musk, tonka bean, vetiver. 
that was a lot of notes. I get this very smooth kind of woodiness from the scent and I definitely pick up this almost burning smokiness, like this burnt smoky feeling from the scent. Maybe it's the birch tar, maybe it's the resins, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, the gaiac wood, but there is definitely this overall very like dark, smoky, woody scent inside of here, but very smooth and very well done. It's tobacco, creamy, smoky, smooth, woody. This is definitely more of an acquired taste, so try it. But it is, wow, very opulent, very unique, very mysterious, and I absolutely cannot wait to wear this one. Uh, so yeah, I will let you guys know how it goes. Royal Tobacco from Amouage, if you wanted something unique, this is it here. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video on my favorite tobacco fragrances from my collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know, like I said earlier, if you want this to become like a series of favorite rose fragrances, jasmine, the list goes on and on. I can definitely do that. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.